remnants of Hurricane Ida pummeled our area with heavy rain and flooding, leaving many with destroyed property and a massive cleanup. The excessive rainfall can lead to water damage and mold, which experts say can be a health hazard if left untreated. Joining us right now with some tips on how to safely treat and prevent exposure to mold, Mario Di Costanzo, he's president of Avanta Clean from Westchester County. Nice to have you on Good Day New York, Mario. Thank you for having me. All right, so where do you start if your home uh, has really been affected with a lot of water right now? Well, the first thing that I recommend and Advantically recommends uh, is you have to protect yourself. Safety is the main issue. So when you go in your basement, you have to make sure you're wearing rubber gloves, boots, you know, face mask. You want to reduce yourself to any potential exposure to any of the contaminants from the storm. So protection is key. What about disinfectant? I'm like very big on disinfectant since COVID started. Does that help or does it really do nothing? Uh, no, uh, disinfection is great. Uh, you need to do that, but you need to make sure you clean up the mess first. So uh, once you get that mess cleaned up, then you can disinfect from there. Um, yeah, that's definitely a, a big key. So rugs and carpeting, can they be saved? During this storm, all these contaminants from the storm, as, as mentioned before, you want to discard anything that's been remotely touched by any of the contaminated water. Discard rugs, carpeting, you might even have to pull up any hardwood flooring or linoleum flooring you have in your basement. And if you're working in that area and it does not have any power, how should Ooh. you proceed? Well, you know, there's a lot of ways to go through it. If you, have, you know, a lot of people had a couple of feet of water, so now you gotta start using buckets. If you have a little bit of water, maybe a couple of inches, squeegees, mops, uh, anything that's going to soak up that water, absorber pads, you know, all that stuff. Just get it out of the house as quick as possible. If you don't have a finished basement, believe it or not, you, have to, you could probably put a hose down there and try to hose it out of your basement as well, or even your garage. Wow, take out a hose and just do it inside, huh? No, well, I've done that before, but that, you have to make sure you had that dehumidification and those fans getting ready to go once it's cleaned and sanitized. So what do you so. do if you have mud on the floor? Because that is really a messy job. Can you do yeah. it yourself? Shovels, um, you know, once again, the hose might, might come into effect, but, you know, once again, I, I won't use a hose in a finished basement. No, no uh, company would use that. You have to use it if it's an open space. You know, you want to get that mud out. You want to shovel it. You want to scrape it from the floors and scrape it off the walls, uh, any furniture before it dries. Uh, I'm wondering, what do you do with the furniture? Do you keep it in the house? And, and hope it dries properly? Do you take it outside, put it in the sun? I mean, or <laughs> yeah, do you, that's the, that's a do big you give thing. it to somebody else? <laughs> well, you know, anything that's been contaminated, I would probably discard it. If it was in my house, uh, I would recommend people to discard anything that's been remotely touched by any contaminated water. But, you know, if you, if you plan on trying to save something, yes, you can take it outside, let it dry. You know? Mold, everybody's always worried about mold, especially after, you know, a big storm like that. Is there any way to get rid of it yourself, or do, you, do we need to bring in somebody like, you know, Avanta Clean? Well, if, it depends on the size. New York State has various laws. Uh, New York State requires if you have more than 10 square feet that you call a licensed mold assessor before you get a licensed remediation company into play. Uh, that's it for more than 10 square feet, but sometimes homeowners still want to tackle a task. If you have something, you know, large like that that's shown on the photo right now, you might want to call in a remediation professional. But yes, you can remove it. There's ways to do it. Uh, you can actually use some disinfectants. You could use uh, Dawn dish detergent to wipe it off. You might want to vacuum it off first if you have a HEPA vacuum. You know, that's pretty much it. What, what symptoms should you be watching for if you've been exposed to mold? Because that, that is always a problem. And you're going to laugh with this one, Rosanna, because I'm allergic to mold. So, you know, I, I get an ear, nose, and throat infection very seriously. Uh, you know, other people, young, younger children, uh, elderly, people with uh, compromised immune systems, you know, they could get impacted in a, in a bad way, too. Uh, I'm not a doctor, and I don't uh, tend to give out medical advice, but if they feel any impacts, they should probably go see one. Mario, how can people find you in case they need some extra help? Give us a call. Call our 800 number at Advanaclean. Call my 914-505, my, uh, <laughs> my, my number, and uh, you'll get us. And Advanaclean, Mario, is in what part of Westchester? Well, we service Westchester County, all of Westchester County, and lower Fairfield County, Connecticut. Good to know. Thank you. Appreciate Thank you. you coming on with very helpful information. No worries. Good all luck. right. Bye.